is why you'll be going places. After all, I was black and I'm still going places. We're one, and we reject any intruder who seeks to divide us on the basis of race and color. If you can think it, if you can dream it, then eventually you can have it. Texas Southern University prepared me. There are some of us who understand that this institution is the means by which we will have greater opportunities in the future. You have in your hand the responsibility to raise us from the low level thing we have brought ourselves into. Because you were determined to succeed at that the Texas Southern University, we say, succeed with excellence in achievement. TSU has provided me with a lot of opportunities. Uh, I have been in Africa. No one in my family has been in Africa. Uh, everything I wanted coming to TSU, I received. All the professors that I have had, I'm a junior now, so throughout the years, they have been very helpful. You know, there's a spirit once you get on this campus, uh, a never give up type of spirit. It's a supportive environment for the faculty. You just kind of get a feeling when you know, like, this is your home. It has been one of the best decisions I made in my life. Good afternoon, one and all. My name is Dr. Daryl Singleton. I am honored to serve as your announcer for Texas Southern University's 2020 Winter Commencement Ceremony for the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. Commencement is indeed a special day for each of our graduates, their families, and loved ones. We are honored to celebrate the graduating classes of spring, summer, and fall 2020. We encourage you to celebrate by cheering and applauding wherever you may be. The commencement ceremony will now begin. Good afternoon, TSU family. I'm Dr. George Kier, and I have the distinct honor of serving as Dean of the Barbara Jordan Mickey Layden School of Public Affairs here at TSU. On behalf of the school's faculty, staff, and students and alumni, I would like to welcome you to our winter 2020 commencement ceremony. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem and the Black American National Anthem, recorded and performed by the University Concert Brand, following the band's performance, Reverend Charles Gayford, pastor of the New Vision Fellowship Church, will take us to the throne of grace.
Father God, we praise you on this blessed moment that you are allowing us to witness. We gather together, we thank you for your endless love toward us. We thank you for the Texas Southern University and Barbara Jordan, Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs and all the administration and leaders that bring things to pass and bless us on a daily basis. We thank you for the technology that enables this ceremony to take place and to be successful in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Lord, bless the graduates as they embark on the next level of their lives. Bless their families who have been supportive and have aided them in completing this giant step into tomorrow. Lord, keep these graduates and others in the palm of your hand. We trust you to guide and protect them on this faith journey. Lord, may they walk safely along the pathways of their dreams. Now we open our heart to you now and invite your Holy Spirit to be ever present among us. It is in the powerful name, your powerful name, that we pray, amen. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce Mr. Kenneth Hewitt, Interim President of Texas Southern University. Mr. President. Welcome to each and every candidate in Texas Southern University's Class of 2020. The university is proud to celebrate graduates through our 10 colleges and schools from the spring, summer, and fall semesters. This dedicated ceremony honors candidates from the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. It is a sign of the times, our new normal, that we must share the commencement exercise through technology and the virtual world. But health and safety is our responsibility to you and your families. Thanks to everyone for your patience and understanding as TSU responds in real time to mandates beyond our control. This unique moment is designed to celebrate your monumental accomplishment. You have earned a degree in your respective field of study, a major feat in this climate of challenge and uncertainty. It is a tribute to your perseverance and will. This incredible milestone is one that strengthens your life for years to come, offering the opportunity to support yourself, your family, your city and nation, and perhaps the global community. It is a vision full of possibility because that all important diploma will be in your hands today. Thank you for staying the course to reach this glorious moment. The administration, Board of Regents, faculty and staff of Texas Southern University salute each of you according to our motto excellence and achievement. Now it is my honor to introduce the Honorable Albert Myers, Chairman of Texas Southern University's Board of Regents, as he delivers a special message to our candidates for graduation. Hello, Texas Southern University Class of 2020. I am Albert Myers, Senior Chairman of the TSU Board of Regents. It is my honor to bring greetings on behalf of the board. I like to acknowledge my fellow regents who I know joined me in the pride we're all feeling here today. Regent Carter, Regent Medina, Regent Benham, Regent Rose, Regent Terrell, Regent Price, Regent Sias, Regent Nellis Page, and Student Regent Johnson. Graduates, congratulations and well done. You are excellence in achievement. You have studied, achieved, and across the finish line during unprecedented times. 
Your academic journey at Texas Southern has been defined by persistence and reliance, and it will serve you well as you enter the next chapter. My first point for the day is so simple yet so important. Please take this moment to say thank you to your mom and dad, our grandparents, our friend, but thank all those who tied a small knot in your rope to pull you up to get you here today. I encourage you all to remember Texas Southern as the foundation for your greatness as you move forward in a changing environment. The pandemic won't define you, but instead is how we respond to these circumstances that will help us chart our course. You've already responded with success by making it to this great day. My ask of you is this, carry yourselves with TSU pride. Enhance the brand and reputation of the university by demonstrating excellence and leading by example. Stay connected to your deans and professors by sharing what you learn in this chapter and how it can be implemented here at your alma mater. Finally, remember to give back to future graduates with your time, talent, and resources. Again, on behalf of the Board of Regents, thank you for choosing Texas Southern University. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. Thank you, President Hewitt and Chairman Myers. It now gives me the distinct pleasure to introduce two distinguished public servants and strong supporters of TSU to bring greetings. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, who serves as a member of the United States House of Representatives, representing the 18th Congressional District of Texas, and the Honorable R. Green, a member of the U.S. House of Representatives as well, who represents the 9th Congressional District of the state of Texas. Congratulations to the 2020 graduates of the outstanding Texas Southern University. And yes, congratulations to all of the family members and all of your support all of these years that you finally reached this outstanding level of success, this pinnacle. I'm Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, so delighted to be able to represent you in the United States Congress and to congratulate you with a word and a message. You are history makers. You're in a time in America's history where we need the kind of leadership that you represent as you now leave Texas Southern University. It is a history-making university founded in the ashes of segregation. So many of you from a diverse community have come and made a success in life that you never thought you'd be able to achieve. I am congratulating you for the ups and the downs of your life, for the moments that you had to go through that you thought you'd never make it, but here you are today and you have made it. I'm reminded of our iconic Dr. Thomas Freeman, many of you know, was a great leader of this university that we lost in 2020. He always sought the best in his students. And my message today for all of you as graduates is to seek the best in people. Always seek the best, and as you do that, you should do good. When we do good, good things happen to us. In this nation, in these tumultuous times, we need the kind of graduates from Texas Southern University that will do good. We need those that will be reminded of the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, who spoke about social justice and injustice, but he spoke about it nonviolently. And so it is important that you are a creator of change, change that will bring about America's goodness. We cannot do much without our people. We cannot do much without recognizing the history of our people coming from all walks of life. As I said, you are history makers. I wish to congratulate you as you take this walk, this historic walk, remind yourself that you're here to do good for America because America can only be good when you are the best of what you can be. God bless all of you and God bless the United States of America. You are truly history makers in 2020, making a difference. Hello, I'm your Congressman Al Green and I'm honored to be with you today to the president, uh, President Hewitt, to the chair of the board, Myers, 
uh, to the faculty, the student body, and especially to the graduates. Please allow me to share one piece of advice. Don't listen to the naysayers. Naysayers don't do great things. It's the yaysayers who get the big things done in life. If Wilt Chamberlain had listened to the naysayers in 1962, he wouldn't have scored 100 points in one game. If Judge War Hoffines had listened to the naysayers who said, no, you can't build an indoor baseball diamond, we wouldn't have the Astrodome, the first of its kind. And if a little-known senator, Barack Obama, had listened to the naysayers in 2008, he would never have become the first African-American president of the United States of America. So today, as we are now about to embark upon a new phase of life, remember this, in January of next year, there's a person who, had she listened to the naysayers, she wouldn't be going to Washington, D.C. She wouldn't be raising her hands on the mall. And as she raises her hand, once she takes an oath of office and lowers her hand, she will become the first person of color who is a female and vice president of the United States of America. She didn't listen to the naysayers. Yaysayers get things done. Be a yaysayer. Do great things. Texas Southern is proud of you, I'm proud of you, and you'll change the world. God bless you. Thank you, President Hewitt, Board Chair Regent Myers, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, and Congressman R. Green. This historic event celebrates the accomplishment of the spring, summer, and fall classes of 2020 of the Barbara Jordan Miki Lillian School of Public Affairs. Graduation day is always a day of rejoicing for it marks the conclusion of an educational journey, especially amid the current global COVID-19 pandemic and its adverse effects today on all spheres of life. Each of our graduates in their unique ways, have persevered in obtaining a degree, and this is certainly a life-altering achievement, a major milestone that sets for a new beginning in their lives. Please give our graduate a well-deserved round of applause. It's now my honor to recognize our platform guests who have joined us in person for this commencement ceremony. President Hewitt, Provost Harris, Vice President for Electives Granger, Interim Associate Provost Sandifer, Dean Greg Maddox of our, of our graduate school, Dr. Andrew Elwa, the Interim Dean of the Barbara Jordan Mickey Layden School of Public Affairs, Ms. Amber Newman, our commencement speaker. She is the Chief Executive Officer of the Boys and Girls Club of Brazoria County, and Reverend Charles Guilford, pastor of the New Vision Fellowship Church. Thank you so much for coming. I'm now honored to introduce our commencement speaker, Ms. Amber Newman. Amber joined the Boys and Girls Club of Brazoria County in September 2016. As Chief Executive Officer, she is responsible for ensuring that Boys and Girls Clubs meet their overall strategic and operational objectives. Prior to joining the organization, she was with the Houston Food Bank, serving as the Assistant Development Director for Donor Services. She has nearly two decades of experiences in the nonprofit sector, and her professional career has focused on fundraising, community development, economic development, educational de and educational development. Our commencement speaker holds a Bachelor's of Science degree from Dela University in New Orleans a master's degree in public administration from Texas Southern University, class of 2016. She is currently the interim chair of the advisory board 
of the Barbara Jordy Mickey Layden School of Public Affairs, as well as a member of the Board of Directors of Brazoria County Hispanic Chamber. She's also on the board of the HISD Superintendents Committee, Dela University alumna, former president and current parliamentarian, member of the Association Leadership Council, member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and former board member for the Pink and Green Charitable Foundation and Global Two. She sat on the Presidential Alumni Committee for Texas Southern University, Brentwood Baptist Church Scholarship Board, the St. John Missionary Baptist Church Fundraising Committee, which was founded by free slaves in 1869, and the Vice Board Member for the Southland Surf, and the member of the FEE National Football Player Wives Association and Threads. The Newman family's philanthropic activities include working with the relief effort during and after Hurricane Harvey and Katrina, feeding the homeless at the Salvation Army, working with Boys and Girls Club at Missouri County, volunteering at the Blue Triangle District, Clean It Up, Green It Up campaign for Council Member Larry Green, and NLF youth, NFL Youth Organization, Houston Football Prep Second Chance Camp, Houston, Texas Youth Camp. Amber is a professional public speaker. She has spoken at the Houston Black Realtors Luncheon and several other functions. She has received numerous awards, such as the 2020 Nonprofit of the Year, Brazoria County Hispanic Chamber, Top 40, Honor 40, 2019, Dela University, 2019, Links Power Couple Award, 2019, Fox News People on Song Hero Houston. Please now join me on behalf of the Barbara Jordy Miki Layden School of Public Affairs in welcoming our commencement speaker, Ms. Amber Newman, class of 2016. Thank you. Thank you, Dean, for inviting me, number one. Uh, I would like to thank God, the administration team for the School of Public Affairs, interim president Ken Hewitt, and my parents, my mother and father-in-law, and my family, and most of all, my friends. Most important, I would like to thank the 2020 graduates of this program because without you, I would not be able to be here. Whenever people invite me to speak, it's funny. Um, they give you a time limit. And when Dean told me how much time I had, I had to remind myself, I know I'm an only child. However, I have a time limit and I'll try to uh, uh, um, abide by that time. Um, when he read my bio, I was thinking, I said, I think he probably had more time reading my bio than I got to say this speech. So I'll tell you all a little bit about my life. I was born in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Uh, my parents got divorced and my mother and I moved here to Houston, Texas. I attended Fleming Middle School and Worthing High School. And then I attended Dillard University for my undergrad and then I attended Texas Southern University for my master's. In 2016, I sat exactly where you are, not really, because I was here. Um, but I had the opportunity to graduate. My husband and I, Lamarcus Newman, graduated and from the same program, and we were the first married couple to graduate in this program. We had the opportunity to take a trip to Ghana. And during that trip, it opened a lot of things for me and helped me to understand where I needed to be. And I wasn't happy exactly where I was in my life. During the trip to Ghana uh, with Dr. Adams and some of my other colleagues, we had the opportunity to visit the NEMA school. I remember looking at the kids at the NEMA school and seeing how hungry they were for education. And at that time, we were married with the family and I, and I told my husband, I said, you know what? I wish that my kids were this hungry to go to school, but at the same time, I had to remember that those kids sometimes had to walk miles without shoes to just get an education. 
Well, my kids have the luxury of us dropping them off daily uh, right here at Lockhart Elementary. So I say all this to say, in life, we don't know where we're going to be. Never would I have imagined in 2016 that I would be standing before you all today and delivering this commencement speech to you all. Something that I learned early on when I started my nonprofit career was to surround myself around people that inspired me. Sometimes family inspire you. Sometimes friends inspire you. Sometimes people that don't even know you inspire you. Well, I want to tell you some of the people that had a hand in inspiring me. When I came back from, uh, from Dillard University, I was offered a job at Houston Hospice. Mary Stevenson was one of my first boss, and she believed in me. Although, she, if I let her tell this story, she said I didn't interview well, so I took heed to that. And so I started there, and then began, I also was inspired where, with, by Sharon Michael Owens. Sharon Michael Owens, she worked at Center Point, and she got to attend galas on a daily basis and, and decide well, who they were going to give money to. And that inspired me. Kathy Wells, Amelda Douglas. Amelda Douglas was the boss of mine as well. And she inspired me. I remember having a conversation with Amelda. And she shared with me, I said, Amelda, at the time she was the VP of development for neighborhood centers. And I asked her, how do you balance all of this? How do you become successful and you still manage to have a family? She looked at me very honestly, and she said, I don't. She remembers times where she missed her daughter's volleyball game or came in very late and her husband covering for her. And I looked at that and I said, one day I want to be a leader, but I don't want to have to sacrifice my family. And then we look, I look at Winnell Heron, the Vice President of Public Affairs for Diversity at HEB. Winnell does things within our community seamlessly. She's inspired many and has dedicated her life to our community and also giving many dollars to uh, our community here. I look back. I never really had a goal early on, but I sat down and figured one out because a goal without a plan is only a wish. 2020 was a year of adversity for many people. Going through adversity is not pleasant at the moment, but it opens opportunity for growth. So when you take heed to the adversity that you're going through, you'll learn to grow. I say this because I looked at Barbara Jordan. She was the first African-American elected in the Texas Senate. And so for me, I look back and here we are in 2020, still saying first, first, African-American Vice President-elect, first CEO of the Boys and Girls Club as an African-American woman. We're still hitting first. And with this graduating class, I want to challenge you. Who will be the first? I also looked at Mickey Leland, who also attended TSU, and the many things that he's done and his family has done and still choose to do. You chose a major, a major within the School of Public Affairs. What you chose was, whether you knew it or not, was a life of service. Work-life balance is going to be important. It's going to be important because you're going to have to balance your family, you're going to have to balance your career. It can be done. You have to figure out what your passion is and what your purpose is. Although we're not perfect, we serve a purpose. Your obligation as an alumni is to give back with your time, talent, and resources. Since this was the class of 2020, I encourage each of you to give the university $20.20. I was told that it was 1,700 graduates in this class, and that'll be about $35,000 for the university and it'll help those that will come after you. Don't expect to see change unless you're the one to make it. 
I appreciate your time and dedication and congratulations to the class of 2020 and all your future endeavors. Thank you very much, CEO Newman, for your very insightful words of wisdom. On behalf of the Barbara Jordi Mickey Layden School of Public Affairs and our graduates, thank you for continuing service to your alma mater. Now the highlights of today's ceremony will begin, and I have the distinguished pleasure of introducing Provost Harris, who will present the 2020 spring summer and fall graduating candidates. Provost Harris. Good morning, members of the Board of Regents, administrators, faculty, and guests, and most exciting, our 2020 graduates. I'm honored to present our spring, summer, and winter 2020 candidates for graduation and announce the conferring of their degrees. Through their hard work and determination, each of these candidates have completed their own unique educational journey here at TSU. Texas Southern University tradition is to announce our graduates' name and give them a well-deserved honor to walk across the stage and be recognized as graduates. Even though we're in a pandemic, we're doing it a little different this year. So, but we, at the same time, we will recognize our graduates. So in recognition of their academic achievement and membership in various campus organizations, please note that some candidates that you'll see will be wearing colorful stoles and cords to be officially inducted into the Texas Southern University National Alumni Association. Our request is for all candidates, no matter where you are, sit back, enjoy, and be prepared to be recognized. Dean Maddox and Dean Key, please present your college candidates. President Hewitt, Provost Harris, good morning. I am Gregory Maddox, Dean of the Graduate School. With the approval of the graduate faculty, I present 58 candidates for the conferral of the various master's degrees offered by the graduate school in the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. President Hewitt, Provost Harris, on behalf of the faculty of the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs, I present three candidates for the conferral of the Doctor of Philosophy degree, 20 undergraduate candidates for the conferral of the Bachelor of Arts degree, and 43 candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the various majors in the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. Bestow with distinguished honors are six summan cum laude, one magnum cum laude, and eight cum laude honorees. President Hewitt, upon recommendation from the dean and faculty members of the Graduate School and the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leading School of Public Affairs, these candidates have successfully completed all of their course of studies and research for the various master's degrees and the Bachelor of Arts and Science degrees for their various majors. It is now my privilege to present them to you for the conferral of said degrees. Provost Harris, I accept the recommendations of the Graduate School and the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. The deans, the faculty, and the administrators, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Texas Southern University, I confer upon these candidates the degrees for which they are qualified with all of the rights, honors, and privileges thereunto appertaining at Texas Southern University. The conferring of the degrees will begin. Announcer, please prepare and to announce the degree candidates. Salim Al Halbabi. Destiny Anile.
Daisy Achando, cum laude. Summer Anderson. Kimberly Andrews. Edwin Awesome. Tamisha Bailey. Alexandria Barnaba. Henry Bautista. Magna cum laude. Tamira Benjamin. Andro Berry. Shamaya Blake. David Blaylock. Robin Brooks. Desiree Bufford. Taylor Burns. Juan Stacy Thomas Castillo. Janine Celestine. Kristen Childs. DeAndre Clayton. Rosemary Cleophas. Magna cum laude. Colette Connor Johnson. Jeremiah Cooper. Amber Cotton. Olivia Cunningham. Jasma Davis. Kirby Davis. Ama Ido Azali. Chiere Emeka. Obena Eziorma. Naya Farrell. Nia Fly. Ebony Fowler. Demetrius Franklin. Chanel Frazier. Robin Gabriel. Latrice Gallo. Richard Galvan. John Garcia. Amber Gilbert.
Natalie Guzman. Michael Harris. Jessica Heron, cum laude. Dari Hester. Tanisha Hickerson, magna cum laude. Marcus Hicks. Raven Hicks. Marcus Holmes. John Hooker. Ashley Jackson. Minkelu Jawandor. Donald Jenkins. Jolanda Jenkins Lane. Arbrinique Johnson. Demetrius Johnson. Deanna Johnson. Kernard Jones. Kayla Joseph. Danae Jules, magna cum laude. Sabria Kimball. Keria Kendall. Adam Kolink. Kimberly Lacey. Adam Landry. Justin Lee. Tyler Lighton. Matthew Lodge. Alexis Lowe, cum laude. Isish Lucas. Juan Marcel. Minnie Martin. Leticia Mason. Gail Mitchell. Larry Murchison. Justin Indemat Cum Laude. Christelle Fabiola Ninchu Camango, Cum Laude. Root Nang Intutumu. Kiana Nolden.
Olautan Odwola. Angelica Olunqua. Isaac Omisor. Latoya Ozain. Morgan Payne. Ariana Pearl. Tinia Peavy. Kevin Porter. Wilmika Powells. Eric Quintana. Crystal Rattler. Andret Rayford. Raul Reyes. Ebony Rhodes. Mona Rhodes. Destiny Roberson. Patrick Robichaud. Blair Robinson. Marianne Robinson. Rebecca Rodriguez. Elahe Rubach Farah. Jared Ross. Samquita Rubin. Leticia Russell. Magna Cum Laude. Ellis Salahuddin, cum laude. Javante Simmons. Tamla Simmons. Arva Smith. Ariel Inia Smith. Jaquan Span. Marion Span. Allison Stansberry. Sylvester Talbert. James Talbot. Demontre Terrell. Mia Tezeno, cum laude. Jasmine Threat. Briya Tillis.
Isaac Tillman. Nakea Washington. Brandy White. Devante Cortez White. Yasmin Wicker. Anthony Williams. Alicia Williams. Jasmine Williams. Ryan Woods. Jaquela Woolley. Charles Austin Young. Jasmine Kenyetta Williams, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Kimberly Hall, Master of Arts in Sociology. We congratulate all of the graduates of the spring, summer, and fall classes of 2020 in the Barbara Jordan Mickey Leland School of Public Affairs. To all of our graduates, no matter where you may be, in the living room right now, in the family room, in the kitchen, at the, at the hall that you rented, Wherever you may be right now, please be prepared to take place in one of our long-standing tradition. That is, that after receiving your first post-secondary degree, the graduate's tassel is moved from the right to the left side. Graduates, go grab those hats, go grab those towns, and move that tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations once again. We are so proud of you. President Hewitt, Board of Regents, Administrators, Dean, Faculty, and Guests, I present to you the 2020 Spring, Summer, and Winter graduating class of the Texas Southern University. Thank you, Provost Harris. Congratulations to the TSU 2020 alumni. Your achievement today is remarkable. As you cherish the fruits of your hard work, I pray that success follows you in everything you do. To formally welcome our graduates as alumni of TSU, it is now my pleasure to introduce the TSU National Alumni Association President Mr. Keith Scott, who will administer the Alumni Pledge. My name is Keith Scott, the Texas Southern University National Alumni President, and I want to congratulate our 2020 graduates on their recent achievement. Please get active by joining one of our 17 active alumni chapters throughout North America at TSUNAA.com. It's important that alumni give back to help students with their educational needs, and it's also a perfect way of networking with other alums throughout North America. 2020 alums, are you ready for the Alumni Pledge? To my right, I have the VP of Finance of TSU NAA, Virgis Wilson, and to my left, I have the Assistant Vice President of Alumni Relations, Connie Cochran. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the alumni of Texas Southern University, pledge ourselves to uphold the principles and ideals for which she stands and move forward with our alma mater 
in the vanguard of its educational, cultural, and economic progress. This I promise. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. We will now sing our alma mater, and after that, these commencement exercises will formally come to an end.